grisly accusations and a series of crimes at a funeral parlor in Brooklyn. Now four people are under arrest in connection with what prosecutors say is a multi-million dollar scheme. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt is in downtown Brooklyn right now with more details. Linda. Hey, good evening there, Rosanna. I've got to tell you, this is one of the most bizarre stories I have ever covered. They, they are, it sounds like invasion of the body snatchers. You've got uh, four men accused here of stealing body parts from corpses and then selling those body parts for millions of dollars. Well, that's what the DA says happened here, and the prosecutor is calling it medical terrorism. These are the men accused in the ghoulish scheme, and they weren't talking on their way into court. Now, the Brooklyn DA says Dr. Michael Mastromarino, a dentist who lost his license, is at the center of a ring to steal body parts from corpses. Mastro Marino owns Biomedical Tissue Services in Fort Lee, New Jersey. What the DA says Mastro Marino partnered this? with this guy, Joseph Nicelli, who owned Daniel Georgian's son Funeral Home in Brooklyn. According to the DA, the two carved up more than a thousand cadavers at the funeral home, stealing bones and skin without the family's knowledge, and then selling the body parts for millions of dollars. The tissues included skin, bone, ligaments, and just about any other part of the body that was not an organ. These removed parts of the remains were then sold throughout the country for use in medical procedures, which included dental implants, hip replacements, surgery to repair other injured joints, as well as cardiac surgery. Lee Crescetta and Christopher Alderasi are also charged. And just take a look at these x-rays. The four are accused of replacing bones in the bodies with plastic plumbing pipes. Investigators say it all went on in a secret room at Nicelli's funeral home after a body arrived. They would then load it onto this particular um, uh, lift, and it would then go up into the uh, second floor which is the room where the uh, extraction of the bones was taking place. All right, now all of the men in court today pleaded not guilty. And by the way, the FDA has shut down that business in Jersey, Biomedical Tissue Services. They did that earlier this month. The investigation, though, is still continuing, and more arrests are expected. Back to you. All right, thank you, Linda.